Hi friends, welcome to Blog by Temi Thames. Today I'd like to show you how to hide your subscriber count. Like the count, the number of subscribers that you have that is displayed on your channel when someone clicks on it. it act it's actually um, something that I realized a lot of people like to um, keep private. Yes, and I understand some of the reasons why. Because you want, the most, the, the most reason is because people want people to have um, a neutral opinion about their channel, not based on subscriber can because we all do it. I do it. Let me talk for myself. When I click on a channel, that doesn't make me biased towards the channel, but my eyes automatically goes to the subscriber count. If the subscriber count is high, most of us think, okay, yes, this channel must have great content for them to have high subscriber count. And sometimes when the subscriber count is low, you might feel okay. It takes someone with um, an open mind to just go through with the process and say, okay, let me see what this person has to say. And, you know, let, and, you know, you just get along with the channel, but some people actually get either um, more, let me use the word, more enticed to check your channel when they see your subscriber count is high than when it's still a, um, an upcoming channel and your subscriber count is low but just for whatever reason you think you want to do that i'm going to take you through the process of keeping your subscriber count private or let me use the word hidden yes okay the easiest way um your profile icon at the top right corner you click on it it brings you um, to this page. I'm using my mobile device, but in the case where you are using your laptop, you just type in your browser, www.youtube.com. It's going to take you to your home page. We would get there now because for you to change your subscriber count, you actually have to use um, your, you have to, you have to redirect to your browser. So what this is doing now is going to, it's, going to redirect us to the browser and the easiest way to do it with your mobile phone or your app is what i'm showing you right now so now we started with um let me take you through it again we started with clicking the icon on the top right corner of our screen on your mobile device then you click the the profile picture again. You see it's brought us to this page. Now, you click the top right corner, the three dots on the top right corner. You click on Terms and Privacy Policy. Terms and Privacy Policy. You see that we redirected us to your um, to your browser. If you're using a laptop, you can go to your browser and just click on YouTube.com. With the mobile device, because you have this application on your phone, most times it redirects you back to the application. That's why it's easier to go through the method I've just showed you now on your mobile device by going through your terms and privacy policy. Now you can see the top, um, not the topmost, just beneath the three dots. The enlarging the, sc the screen, you can see the profile picture showing there. Sometimes when you go through that link that I've told you, um, terms and privacy policy, you have to sign in. But right now I'm si I've signed in. That's why my icon is showing on the browser. But if you go through that privacy and settings um, policy, privacy, sorry, um, terms and privacy policy, and you need to, it's not directing you with your logo showing, sign in. What will be there is going to be sign in. So sign in with your email address of your page, your, your YouTube page. Now we click on the icon. So after you signed in, your icon is going to appear. 
now we've clicked on the icon where it says creator studio click on creator studio now you have creator studio click on on your far left corner i've just enlarged it far left corner you see channel you click on channel the drop down arrow now you go back to your far left corner and enlarge again so that you can see what you're doing then click on advanced now you've clicked on advanced it brings you to this page called account information you scroll all the way down now you see what's saying there the last paragraph subscriber counts the first tick box says display the number of people subscribed to my channel the second one says do not display the number of people subscribed to my channel that is what you want do not display the number of people subscribed to my channel at a later stage if you change your mind you come through the same process again and you click display the number of people subscribed to my channel but right now you can see i've clicked on do not display the number of people subscribed to my channel now you click save so now it is like that i want to show you something quickly if you click on your icon again only you only you is going to be able to see your number of subscribers don't mind that it's showing there it's only you that will be able to see other people will not be able to see it now you can sign out from the browser doesn't mean it doesn't mean you're going to be signed out from your okay now it's just automatically redirected me to my youtube app without logging me out you understand i hope this helps thank you and if you enjoyed this information please do not forget to click the like button and subscribe you can also share with friends thank you